professional on professionals on the Food Network, their food's already made. You know what I mean? When they go to film, they just are like pretending. Not us. We're not pretenders here. Unless we get a spot on the Food Network, then we'll pretend all you want. Yeah. Wait. Oh my god. What? I think all these have the paper on them. They do. Oh my god. All right. Go stop the video really quick. I didn't know that that was a thing. I didn't know that they made bread with paper on it. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Hot Girl Kitchen. I'm Melissa. And I'm Matt. And today, we've already made some fabulous apple cider mimosas. Cheers to fall, um, and even though we do get accused of being luscious um, occasionally, <laughs> we don't like to just start drinking at 8 o'clock in the morning with no sustenance, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think that's what most people call breakfast, the first meal of the day, correct? Mm -hmm. Breaking the fast. Is that what that means? Mm -hmm. You're breaking fast. Well, because you were like fasting while you were sleeping. Mm -hmm. Probably not me. I probably still find a way to eat while I'm sleeping. <laughs> um, and now that I have cinnamon all over my lips, I'm going to let you know what we're making for breakfast. We are doing some hot girl French toast. Very now, hot. Very hot. Very French. <laughs> we. Oui. And... <laughs> Those of you that have been close friends of mine for years know that this is like one of my staples for breakfast. It's actually one of the like three things that I make. I don't do it often because I don't just like sit around eating breakfast. Like normally I just starve myself. Um, but, you know, we're being festive today. We're drinking apple cider mimosas. And our PJs. And our PJs. Like we need. We just opened our eyes. This is what we woke up like. Yeah, we woke up like just like this. And um, we walked into the kitchen. We said, wow. what a We're starving. <laughs> we need to break <laughs> we need the fast. <laughs> we need to break the and I was like, what, how coincidental. I happen to have all the ingredients I need for a French toast. Mm -hmm. The most important thing you're going to need is bread. Now, my top pick. You can buy like cinnamon swirl bread in the store. But that's kind of cheating. Mm -hmm. You know, we're very wholesome here. We do not partake in cutting corners. That's not something we do. Um, we don't believe in that lifestyle. So we are using some fresh French brioche bread. And this is really the best bread for it because, as you can see, I actually bought it already sliced, but I like a thick slice. A thick boy. Thick boys and girls. And because brioche bread is so light, the thick slice of it allows you to get a crisp, exterior on your french toast but the interior is nice and fluffy so that's my personal preference i mean some of you at home might be deranged and might not like your french toast that way and if that's the case then i suggest you seek help so <laughs> what we'll need to make our toast french are eggs milk those are the two main things that are going to make the coating we're going to need nutmeg, which you don't need need. Like, a lot of people are actually allergic to nutmeg. So, honestly, if you... We, I only use a pinch of it, so if you just leave it out, it's not an emergency. Cinnamon is A1, the most important, besides the bread. Cinnamon is what is making our toast French, okay? And then my fun secret is that I use some vanilla really kicks things up a notch and makes it a little more savory. Um, and obviously you need maple syrup. And I'm going to take things a little bit further today. Because we normally do. Because mm -hmm, we do the most. And instead of just using regular butter, because like everybody puts butter on their French toast. And if you don't, electric chair. Like, <laughs> that's strange. Um, I'm going to make some bourbon whipped butter. So... I'm sure you all have watched the video for our cocktail already, and you'll know that there is a shot of bourbon in our mimosas. And as you know, here in Hot Girl Kitchen, we love to tie our flavors together. 
So I was like, what better way to make our French toast in relation to our apple cider mimosa than to whip some bourbon into our butter? I mean, could you think of anything else? No. No, that was neither my first could your thought. fave. Yeah, that's all, that's like the only option. Your so. fave doesn't even know what bourbon is, so it really doesn't matter. Your fave doesn't even know what French toast is. Your fave. Your fave makes shouldn't burnt, be your fave. Your fave makes burnt toast out of Wonder Bread or wheat bread. Ugh, I hate wheat bread. And it's burnt, and then they serve it with like jelly or something. And that's the extent of their <laughs> breakfast. So if you're watching this, please don't do that. Please make some French toast. Or, like I said, get some help. All right, let's whip this baby. Let's whip it up. So I'm actually going to start with the whipped butter because we want this to already be ready when our French toast is ready. That way we can eat our French toast straight off the griddle. So you can use whatever the this is, a ninja. Is this like a food processor? Yeah, of some sort. Whatever it is. Or you can use a KitchenAid mixer, which would probably be a little more optimal because we want it to be more whipped and less processed. But we're not in the mood to, as you can see, it weighs about 600 pounds. And we have to clean it. It's like, no man. It's a big ordeal. No, thank you. We'll pass on that. Or you can do it by hand. But that will definitely pass on because that's way, as you know, we don't do manual labor. That's like way too manual for us. <laughs> so for our bourbon with butter, we're gonna use one stick of butter. We have our one stick of butter. We're going to use, if I can open it, one tablespoon of bourbon. You know what, I'm feeling a little bit generous. I'm actually gonna do two tablespoons. Okay. Next, to really play up that warm flavor, can you hold this while I open our delicious New England maple syrup? We're going to do a tablespoon of maple syrup. Like I said, we love tying our flavors together, so we're going to be using this actually to top the French toast. So it's fun to use in the butter as well to really give it like a multifaceted flavor profile. Next, I'm going to do just a dash of vanilla. Just a dash. Just. No exact measurements on that. Vanilla extract is like a very potent, powerful ingredient. So if you use too much, it always overpowers. And then we're also going to use a little bit of brown sugar to make it sweet. As you know, we're so sweet here. We're just darling. Um, and we're going to use a heaping teaspoon of the brown sugar. This is organic because, I mean, duh. <laughs> so now, how do I use this tool? Okay, so. Now we're whipping. And it looks a little more like cottage cheese than I'd like. So it looks like it needs a little more whipping. You need to use room temperature butter. So it looks pretty good though. This might be a little bit, it wasn't quite room temperature enough. It wasn't like melted enough. So that's why it's looking a little chunky. So we'll just process it a little more. As you can see, we have a gorgeous griddle that is just a standalone item. It plugs right in. So this is perfect for our French toast. They also sell little griddles that can go on the stove. Um, and then if you don't have either, I'm not really sure what like the alternative you're gonna is. you're going to use a pan probably. I guess. It's not something I've ever done. I've always had a griddle. So we want a generous amount of French toast. So, and especially because, um, this is what you're dipping the bread into, and you want to really be able to get it to sop it up, you know? So I'm going to use six eggs. Oh, wow. 
not really sure what I'm supposed to do with my shells. Um, I'm going to whisk these six eggs in our mixing bowl. Okay. And make sure they're nice and creamy. We're going to add some milk. So I don't really have an exact measurement. Maybe I should have thought of this in advance. I sort of just do it until it looks like I don't need any more milk. So let's just do a count. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. So I kind of like to use like as much milk as egg. Like I like it to be like kind of an equal. So like after you beat your eggs, however much like liquid liquid there is oh my god this, the devil's here <laughs> however much liquid there is um put that much in the of milk in i'm gonna add a little more because i wasn't quite at half and half and now you can yeah, see that's pretty, pretty even so now's the exciting part we're going to add in our cinnamon which is nice and fresh so i should have um, opened this off camera, but I didn't think of it because I have one brain cell. And you really want to go to town with the cinnamon. Um, now, if you're using cinnamon swirl bread, like I said, some people can cheat. You don't need to use quite as much cinnamon, but I still would add cinnamon. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, my God, the aroma divine yeah this is really I might even do a little more so like I said there's no exact measurements it's just like you want cinnamon on your french toast so I mean that's <laughs> that you know what I just noticed what you have the audacity to come into my home with the giant eagle brand spice after. I was hoping no one would notice. Um, this is just, you're a fan, you know that he has quite the I have an, an aversion to generic ingredients. Quite the attitude when it comes to my spices. And I love to support local businesses. He wants to support those big corporations. I'm supporting local. Okay, Penzies is not a big corporation. Thank you very much. McCormick is a very big corporation. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, nutmeg is not something I use often. So, unfortunately, it is looking as though we may have the generic nutmeg. <laughs> and so we're just going to use, like, a pinch of that. Not nearly as much nutmeg as you use cinnamon. And now, we're going to add our vanilla. And if you remember from three minutes ago in our video, <laughs> um, vanilla is something that you don't want to add a lot of because it overpowers. So we're going to do just like a nice little two count of vanilla extract. And while Melissa does that, it's looking like she is really taking stirring to the next level. <laughs> like, I think you're good. That's done. Um, can we turn our griddle back on? Yeah. 350. So if you have a griddle, I recommend using it at 350 so that it's high enough to cook the French toast but not so hot that it burns. Um, if you don't have a griddle, I would use like medium low heat. As we are going to get started with actually dipping our French toast into our mixture. I don't know if the fans at home can see that. But it's looking quite cinnamon -y, which I'm so excited about. Um, and we're going to put it right on the griddle. So now that our griddle is nice and hot, let's go ahead and add a little square of butter to one of the edges. Mmm. That is going to be prime for French toast cooking. So while that finishes smoking on there, I'm going to get started covering our thickly sliced brioche bread in our French toast mixture. And I'm going to put it right on the griddle here. 
So like I said, you really want to sop up as much of the mixture as you can while you're dipping it. Ooh, nice and steamy in here. And delicious and luscious. And I think it looks like we're on the road to success. So all of our fresh toast is on the griddle and we have a little bit of our covering our mixture left. And if you remember three minutes ago in the video, I said we like it to be really soppy, sopping up our mixture. So I actually pour it right on top of our toast on the side that's um, not cooking right now. And it looks as though I forgot my little tray that catches all the juice. <laughs> so we're going to have a little bit of a mess to clean up, but that's okay. When to flip. There's no exact science. What I do is I just take a look, and when it's brown, I flip it, which, what do you know? It's time. This looks divine. Yeah, that looks great. So I'd say that was maybe like three or four minutes. Like, it's not like it was on here a long time. This is a pretty quick thing to make. Yeah, I'd say like a five-minute max, and then just check the other side. Yes. It also depends on how crispy you like it. If you like it, like... Crispier on the outside, I'd say leave it on longer. If you like it more of a golden color as opposed to like a brownish color, I'd say leave it on a little less time. Oh my god, it's flying right off the griddle. Wow. Divine. This one might not be quite ready yet unless I just decide. Oh, it is. I was going to say, unless I just decide to make a couple more golden brown ones because we paused halfway through so we could film half of these for our TikTok. So if you're not following us on TikTok, TikTok. which is what I understand is what all the cool kids are doing these days. I wouldn't know because I'm a millennial. I'm a little older than the generation for TikTok, but we're just giving it a shot. <laughs> and Gen Z is accepting us so far. can see we have quite the divine situation going on here I mean this is like you talk about food porn this is like rated XXX <laughs> it's looking that way um, so we have our dollop of bourbon the butter. bourbon butter on top now let me get a little a little taste as you can see, the inside's nice and fluffy still. Wow. What do we think, Melissa? Not bad for something I just whipped up at 8 o'clock in the morning now. Like, you know, I'm, as you said, we woke up like this. I woke up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready to go. Yeah, this is wonderful. And I just whipped into a frenzy and made a five-star brunch staple. Oh my god. I almost passed out. It's so good. Um, and truly, like, the butter really... Yeah, I was just going to say, I think the secret to our success, I mean, not only... You can see here, the thick slices of bread really makes it nice yeah. and light and fluffy. But this bourbon butter is so fucking good on this French toast. It like, really is. I'm about to like snort the bourbon butter. Dead ass. Not that I do that. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Your fave could never like I don't even know what to say because your fave Right, I'm speechless. Friends. Yeah, your fave could is all we have to say. I don't have any I, I'm I don't I don't have words. Speechless for the first time. Enjoy it while it lasts. I'm trying. Maybe I need another sip of my cocktail to inspire me. Mm. I mean, if this doesn't get you to like and subscribe, I don't, I don't know, know what will. Like, 
I'm not gonna lie, we're not heavy on the breakfast, um, front. On the, yeah, on the breakfast recipes, like, this is only our second one ever. But sometimes it's not quantity that matters, it's quality. Mm -hmm. And we just showed you something so spectacular, you'll never order French toast at a restaurant again. Pretty much what we're trying to do is get you to not go to restaurants anymore. We'll Everything. save a lot of money. Everything we're, we've been making is just... We're like financial advisors in the kitchen. Like, we make things that are so good that we don't have to go out to eat. Now we're teaching you our savings techniques. Our savings techniques. Oh, my God. You already finished one. I'm behind. It's good. Mmm. Real hot girl shit. <laughs>